My name, my name is John Sims. I serve the community of Harrison Middle School as a sixth grade teacher. I'm a simple guy, I don't have any props or anything. I just have some simple rules. In my classroom there's three rules. Love, realize you're worthy of love, and become something more every day. And I have three rules for teachers. Know your students, integrate that into the curriculum, and work your butt off. It's simple. And I hear platitudes up here about education, and I continue to hear them. Every person in here went to school, and this country was great because of its school system. And I hear again and again that we can't raise revenue. We need to raise revenue, not cut education. When you come into that tonight, in the name of you, like Ray Kwan here, who's an inspiration to each day I come into class. Thank you. I think uh, that you're not going to hear tonight from this panel that we're not going to vote for raising revenues. I have voted every chance just about I got. The only, the only revenue I won't raise is food tabs. Um, I helped get rid of the food tabs. I'm proud of that. We don't need to bring the food tabs back. But as Senator Keller has been saying, there's $400 million of low-picking fruit that every other state by the way, you take international corporations, multinational corporations that come to New Mexico, they pay this very same tax in every other state around us, and they don't pay it in New Mexico. Um, what's wrong with this picture? And that's low-hanging fruit, 400 million of it. Um, nobody is moving the copper fields of southern New Mexico to Mexico. Nobody is taking that copper field and moving it to um, China. That copper field is here. We have, and we have some of the lowest severance taxes uh, in the region, and we should be aware of that, and those are the kinds of things that I think all of us here are willing to step out for. We have always been in favor of raising the right revenue in a progressive way. Thank you very much. Thank you, first, for uh, your question and your comment. I, I think everyone here at the table here has been a very strong supporter of trying to raise the funds to fund education adequately. And we have had, we had an excellent three-year study uh, that resulted in, it was dramatic, absolutely dramatic results that showed that we are not funding education properly in this state. And we have tried again and again to get it funded properly, and we have hit a roadblock. And a lot of it is because we get lumped in with where people are just saying, oh, well, you're, you're throwing money at education. I hate that phrase. We are not throwing money at education. If we had the best schools in the nation, or if we, let's just say we were only in the top tens, States in the nation, we would not need any other economic development tool because this is a great place to live. So if we had the best schools or close to the best, we wouldn't have to worry about tax incentives and tax expenditures. Senator Keller would be happy to hear that. 